DK back at you with another video here for the showdown slate for the NBA Finals with Golden State and Toronto. Um, real quick, let's see how we did uh, uh, for Game 5 here. So, got unlucky here with the KD injury. Um, you know, that was the risk I was willing to take with him. His price was uh, too cheap. You know, he was on pace for a really good game. I think he had, like, close to 20 fantasy points in 10 minutes, something like that. Um, but, yeah, he was he was doing really well and then, you know, aggravated his injury. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the other guy, though, that, that I did really like, uh, Boogie Cousins, was really solid for his price. Um, you know, I think he was 4.8K. That was, that's just too cheap. Um, you know, I rolled with Steph, Marcus All, Ibaka, Kyle Lowry. Those were three guys that I did like there in the mid in the mid tier. So, you know, if KD doesn't get injured here, it would have been would have been a pretty big night. But you know, it's unfortunate. And you know, again, that was the risk I was willing to take. You know, KD only you know below forty percent owned. So, um, you know, if I had to do it again, I probably would uh, just because the ownership and um, you know he was underpriced. So, let's uh, let's see if we can get if we can get W here for Game Six. Um, okay, so obviously no more KD. You know, he's out for the rest of the series. So, um, you know that's big, big boost to the big three of Golden State of Steph, Draymond, and Clay. Um, and then uh, other injury news here waiting for is Kevon Looney officially questionable. So this is pretty big news. Um, I'll get to that here in a sec. Well, let's just start at the top here. Steph Curry, 12K. Uh, I know that's expensive, but, you know, he's the star that I really want here on the slate. He's got the most upside with KD out. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Draymond and Clay are, are good options as well, but Steph just has the most upside of those three. I know the price tag's up there, but, um, you know, Steph's, Steph's the star I really want here at 12K. Kawhi at 11 8. Um, no issue. Again, he's running the show here for Toronto. Um, you know, probably going to get you anywhere from 45 to 65 fantasy points. He's been really consistent. So um, I don't have an issue with Kawhi. I'm just, if I'm picking between Steph and uh, Kawhi, I'm definitely going to roll Steph there. Uh, just because the upside, I think, is is more here with Steph Curry. And again, it is it is must-win uh, situation here for Golden State. Um, so maybe the starters can extend it a couple extra minutes here. Uh, Draymond at 10.4. So, um, you know, he gets a big boost there with no, uh, with no KD. The ball is going to be in his hands a lot more. Now, he doesn't have, you know, the upside that Steph Curry has, but he still has, you know, he's put up, what, 60, 65 fantasy points before. So, Draymond still has upside. And you do get a, a pretty significant discount here from Steph. So, if you can't afford Steph, um, you know, I don't mind Draymond at all here at 10.4K. Uh, below that, Clay Thompson at 9.2, um, you know, he gets a slight boost here with with, uh, with no KD. Um, his game didn't doesn't really change, but um, you know probably he's gonna you know shoot the ball a little more here, be a little more aggressive on offense. Um, you know I don't have an issue with him again. Um, I, I just think the upside on stuff is way higher, but there is you know a significant discount here with Clay Thompson nine point two. You know I like all three of the big three here for Golden State. Um, you know I haven't messed around with roster construction too much, but I'm definitely gonna try to get. Um, you know, probably at least two of those big of the top three of Golden State uh, in my lineup. Um, then below that, you got Siakam again. It's just the price is not coming down enough on him. Um, he's just been too inconsistent. Now again, he does have that upside. You know, I put up fifty five there in game one, uh, but just not showing the consistency for me. Now the ownership's probably going to be pretty low on him, uh, but you know, for me that you know a guy that makes one lineup, I just can't do it. So. Um, for that reason, I'm off Siakam. Kyle Lowry, well, the price is creeping up there on him. You know, now he's at 8K. I still think he's fine for a mid-tier play. Um, you know, again, he's also been another guy that's been pretty inconsistent, but um, has flashed the upside. So uh, I think he's okay here in the mid-tier. Same thing with Marcus Saul, um, a guy that doesn't have huge upside. You know, gonna play right around 30 minutes, and probably gonna get you. Anywhere from what twenty to thirty-five fantasy points, um, so I think he's you know a guy that that's pretty safe. Uh, Van Fleet at six point six. Um, you know they they need his defense out there and Steph Curry. The minutes have gone down on him a little bit here. You know twenty-nine, twenty-seven. I liked it when he was playing you know in the mid-thirties minutes, 
And yeah, at six point six is kind of a lot to to pay to pay for uh, Fred Van Fleet. Now, can he get you there for sure? You know, he can knock down some threes. He can get hot. He can for sure get you there. But if I'm looking this mid tier, um, I got Marcus Saul and Kyle Lowry right above him for a little more that I'm definitely you know going to prefer. And I got Boogie Cousins right below him, who I'm for sure going to prefer. So for that reason, I'm probably going to be off Van Fleet. Now the ownership again is probably going to be lower on him as well, uh, but just not for me. And then Boogie Cousins here at 5.8. Um, he had a big game there in Game 5. Um, you know, Once KD went down, he really took over offensively. I uh, was really aggressive. Um, still only played 20 minutes. Um, might have He actually might have been on his way to a DNP CD if KD uh, didn't get injured. You know, He hadn't played. It was early in the second when KD got injured, and Boogie still hadn't played yet. So um, that's something to take note of. But with no KD, um, they need you know, a spark in offense here with Boogie Cousins. So at 5.8K, um, you know, I like him quite a bit here. I know the price has gone up a little bit on him. Uh, the big news here is if Kevon Looney misses. If Kevon Looney misses, then I really like Boogie Cousins because he's going to be forced to play some big minutes. Um, so I think Boogie Cousins is, is a pretty solid play here at 5.8K um, if Looney plays. If Looney misses, um, probably just going to be a lock and load for Boogie here for me at 5.8K. Now, again, he's also been a little up and down, but... It's just when he gets minutes, he produces. So as long as he stays out of foul trouble, um, I think he'd be a pretty solid play here at 5.8. Serge Ibaka, um, you know, I would like it if he was playing more minutes, but you know, probably going to play 15 to 25 minutes, somewhere in that range. And he's a guy that's going to produce when he's out there. So uh, at 5.4K, seems priced about right, uh, but but doing pretty pretty well here, you know, 24, 28, 30, 27. You'll definitely take that for 5.4K. So, um, you know, kind of a more value play guy that I am considering here for sure. A loony at 5K. Um, so, yeah, if you read the analysis here, he, he was fighting through considerable pain there. Um, it's tough. I mean, I don't think I can play him here at 5K. It's just not enough meat in the bone. Um and, yeah, if, if he misses, I really like Boogie. And I'll talk about a couple of the other guys here in a sec. But if Looney plays, I probably – I don't think I can pull the trigger there at 5K. And then Iguodala, um, another value guy that I do like here, um, at 4.8K, uh, he gets a, a pretty significant boost there with no KD out. Um, you know, probably going to play a few extra minutes. Um, you know, probably going to be asked to do a little more here on offense. And a guy that's going to play probably 30 to 35 minutes against do or die. Maybe those minutes go up a little bit here. Um, and, yeah, 4.8K, I think that's just a little too cheap for Iguodala. Guy that doesn't have huge upside, but, um, you know, I think he's underpriced here. So I do like Iguodala um, at 4.8K. Danny Green at 4.4. It's just too inconsistent for me. Um, you know, he does have upside if he can knock down threes and get hot. But it's never a guy I really play. Um, I'm much rather going to you know, prefer to play Iguodala here um, to Danny Green at a similar price point. Livingston at 3.8. It just seems too much to pay for Sean Livingston. Um, I know, you know, KD being out probably helps him, maybe plays a couple extra minutes, but I just don't see him getting there at 3.8K. Again, why would you play Sean Livingston 3.8 if you could just play Iguodala for another $1,000 who, um, you know, the minutes are, you know, doubled, the upside is, you know, doubled, so... Um, yeah, I just I just don't think I can play Livingston there. And then we get to Andrew Bogut at 3.2. It's pretty interesting here. Um, only played two minutes last game, but if Looney misses, you know, Bogut's probably going to be asked to play some decent minutes. You know, if I had to guess, probably 10 to 15, maybe even 20 if he plays well. So, you know, this play is pretty contingent here on if Kevon Looney uh, plays or not. If, he, if Kevon Looney does not play, then I think uh, Andrew Bogut is a pretty solid value play here at 3.2K. And it's going to be interesting to see who Golden State starts at center. Um, you know, last game, what, they started Kavon Looney, I believe. Um, let me actually double-check on that. I'm pretty sure they started Kavon Looney. Um, hold on, i got to bring this up on my phone. Let's see, Monday. Um... Oh, they started the small ball lineup. Okay. So they started the small ball lineup with Katie. That, that's right. So it's going to be interesting to see who Golden State starts the center. Maybe they start Bogut. And if they start Bogut, you mean that, you know, that's guaranteed minutes. So, um, 
yeah, we're going to wait, wait for news here in a starting line for Golden State. But um, I think Bogut, if Looney misses, would be a pretty solid value play here at 3.2. Quinn Cook at 2.6. Maybe he plays a few extra minutes, but I just really don't see the upside on him. Um, but yeah, probably not for me. Then McKinney at 2K. With KD out, still only played two minutes. So I don't think I can go there either. I just don't think there's enough meat on the bone. A Norman Powell at 1.8. Um, you know, been playing right around the 10 minute range. Um, if he can knock down a few threes, you know, I don't think it's the worst idea at 1.8, but you really need him to hit at least a couple threes. So probably not going to be the way I go either. And then Jordan Bell at 1.6 would be a guy that, you know, possibly uh, sees some, some extra time here if Kevon Looney misses again. This would be contingent on if Kevon Looney uh, misses. If Kevon Looney plays, I don't think I can pull the trigger on Jordan Bell. But if Looney misses, I think Bell's a guy that you know might crack the rotation, maybe play 10 minutes or so, and he's a guy that's going to produce when he's out there. So uh, we got to wait for news, obviously, on Kevon Looney. Uh, maybe even Golden State starts Jordan Bell you know, at center. They did that one game here in the series. So, um, again, we got to wait for news. But I think if Looney misses, I think Jordan Bell would be a value guy that um, I would consider for sure. Um, Jarebko, you know, kind of in that Jordan Bell territory, probably going to play, you know, five to ten minutes. If I had to pick between the two, um, I would lean toward Jordan Bell there. And then below that, I really don't see, you know, and Nube hasn't played minutes. I don't see anyone below that uh, getting in the game. So, so yeah, um, as far as, you know, who I want to go with at captain, it's interesting because if you go with one of these mid-tier guys, Probably my favorite mid-tier guy would be a boogie here if Looney misses. You know, you could captain him, and then you could get, you know, definitely two, maybe even three of these, you know, stars up here and go with a couple mid-tier, uh, maybe a value guy. Um, so, yeah, again, I haven't really messed around the roster construction too much, but, um, you know, that might be something I lean towards just going with a mid-tier guy so I can fit in a couple more stars. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, the star I really want here is Steph Curry. Um, probably going to play one of the two of Draymond or Klay Thompson. Maybe both I can fit it. I don't know if I can. Um, and then, again, the mid-tier guys I like. You know, Boogie's probably my favorite. Ibaka, solid. Gasol, solid. Lowry, solid. Uh, Iguodala is a cheap guy. I do like him. Um, and then really cheap, you know, it's Bogut if Looney misses. And it's Jordan Bell if Looney misses for me. So I think that's enough for today's video, guys. If you have been enjoying the content, uh, please like this video and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comment section down below. It's also important to follow me on Twitter. Um, it will be in the description below. I'll give my thoughts as more news comes out. So obviously the, the big news is here, uh, come on, Looney. And yeah, if this game, if this goes to game seven, um, then I will be back for another video then. So I will see you guys then.